Hey guys, welcome back to another segment of In the Kitchen Cooking with the Chemist. As you can see right now, I'm making my roux for my famous not seafood gumbo. And roux is very, very important to the base and the foundation of any type of gumbo. So it's going to be equal parts flour, equal parts oil. And um, I'm using teff flour. And you can also go to, I believe it's page 46 in the culture cook cookbook for the gumbo recipe. So it's very important that you consistently stir the roux. You wanna have it on like a medium high. You wanna make sure you cook it for at least 30 minutes to make consistently stirring it, making sure it's gonna be very flavorful and powerful as a foundation of your gumbo. So let's take a closer look at this. You can see it's bubbling or boiling up. I have it on medium high. And I'm going to sit here and I'm going to constantly keep stirring this for uh, the next 30 minutes because I want my gumbo to be flavorful. So if you want your gumbo to be flavorful, uh, make sure that you go to Culture Cooking Cookbook and get that over on our website in our health shop. Or you can make sure that you stick around and I'll show you some more tips and tricks. So you are in the kitchen cooking with an actual chemist. Okay, how many people can say they know a chemist? Anyways, today I was in the mood for some of my nice seafood gumbo. So I'm going to give you guys a quick little glimpse of how I cook this award-winning Super Palooza not seafood gumbo. Let's get to it. So what I did before I put in all my veggies was I go I went ahead and made the roux and I let the roux uh, cook for about an hour or more than that. I don't even know. But the more you cook the roux, the more powerful the, and flavorful it will be. So how did I get this roux this deep chocolatey color? Well, if you go over and get the Culture Cooking Cookbook, link in bio at our health shop, you will know that I use teff flour to make the roux, which is equal parts teff flour and equal parts of oil. So right now I'm gonna go ahead and add, and I'm not really measuring anything, my stewed tomatoes. That's gonna make it really pop off. And then I'll need to go ahead and give this uh, four ounces, not four cups of water, excuse me. And we're gonna let this simmer and do what it do and put some yummy ooey goodness of seasoned spices in here. And we will have us some good old Creole gumbo. Well, I can't say Creole because a Creole person didn't make it, but we gonna have some good gumbo. Welcome back, hello. So you gotta add the okra right we there's you can't have gumbo without having okra so i just added some more so had a time out for that i had some cayenne pepper in here because everybody knows i like my stuff a little spicy but what you do have to have you gotta add the not garlic you have to add some of the habanero hot sauce to it and some onion powder and some salt so I've already added some salt in here. Just so gonna add a sprinkle more seasoned salt. And let's get it popping. See that rich chocolatey color? I actually it's really very rich and chocolatey this time around because I let that uh that um roux really simmer and cook for a long time. So this is gonna be amazing. Oh, one more thing, secret that is not included in the actual cookbook so i added some wakami flakes right to give it that seafood taste so what i did was ground the dry seaweed up and i made it into a powder form and i went ahead and sprinkled that in there so don't it look delish 